Welcome to our baby led weaning recipe. In this series, we'll be diving deep and exploring the different aspects of BLW, sharing my personal experiences and giving you practical tips and insights that you can apply. Each video in this series builds on the previous one, so it is important to watch them in order. Okay, when you have decided to follow BLW for your baby, the first question arises in your mind is at what age should I start BLW? According to American Academy of Pediatrics, a baby is ready to start solids with baby lead weaning if your baby have this four criteria. 1. They have at least doubled their birth weight. 2. They can hold their head well and are starting to sit up unsupported. 3. They show signs of being interested in food like watching you eat, reaching for food when you are eating extra. 4. When you feed them, they are able to move the food around in their mouth rather than spit it out. If your baby is showing these signs, then your baby is ready for BLW. So what next? You will need these 6 necessary items for BLW. Number 1. High chair or a booster chair that provides a safe and comfortable place for your baby to sit during meal time. Mom lap is also fine if the baby wishes for, but my suggestion is let them have an independent space and a comfortable chair. Enjoy their meal. I bought Love Lab High Chair for my baby from Amazon. It's quite strong and steady. Number 2. Choose baby safe utensils like small, easy to grasp utensils specifically designed for babies. They should have no sharp edges and be made of non-toxic materials. Look for section bottom plates and bowls to prevent your baby from tipping them over. I have used the section bottom plates for a few days and after a few months, I have directly offered for her in a tray that comes with the high chair. That means no plate. That makes my work easy and she feels comfortable too. I used a food processor which I found in Amazon and it is a great product. I used to mash cooked rice when it is hot and this processor saved me and it really works fine all day. My suggestion this is a must buy product. Number 3. Soft tip or silicone tip spoons. These can be useful for offering purees or foods that are more difficult to pick up with fingers. I used to offer her preloaded spoons during the first few days of PLW. The spoon should be short enough with a soft mouth. Silicone spoon is always good. Number 4. The next thing is bibs or smocks. This is really important to have or else after every meal, you have to clean up the whole mess and you have to dress up your baby all time. To protect your baby's clothes from food messes, consider using bibs with a steep pocket or full coverage smocks. I have not used a silicone bibs and I don't have any idea about it. If you have any suggestions about silicone bib, leave a comment in the comment section. I purchased bibs in a local shop. It's a waterproof baby bibs and it's handy too. Whenever I go for a function, I used to take along with me. Number 5. Water cup. Introduce a straw safe cup or small open cup for your baby to drink water during meals. I haven't introduced a sippy cup for my daughter. It's always better to use a straw cup while starting BLW. I'll include a separate video on how much water does a baby can drink and why sippy cups are not encouraged on a separate video. Number 6. Cleaning supplies. Keep wipes or a damp cloth nearby for quick cleanup as well as small brush to clean high chair trays and utensils. These are the 6 items required for BLW. Once you have these items, your BLW adventure starts. I have the link in the description what I personally use for my daughter and few better suggestions too that are perfect for your little ones during meal time. Be sure to check out the link in the video description below. If you already have these items other than this brand and if it really works great, I encourage you to share the links in the comment section below. Let's help each other out and make parenting a little bit easier for everyone. In the next video, I'll be discussing on what do's and don'ts in BLW. Be sure to check it out. Hit that subscribe button and enable notifications so you never miss an update. Share this channel with other new parents seeking BLW on South Indian recipes. Until next time, happy exploring and happy weaning. Bye-bye.